As the summer ends, it will eventually rain here in the hills of Butte County. And when it does, we got to dig a trench. The work done now will protect nearby Madrone Lake and Lake Oroville downstream. So you can see we have structural debris uh, almost directly adjacent to the watershed here. The town of Berry Creek was decimated by the North Complex fire. It claimed 12 lives here and destroyed more than 1,200 structures. You can see the rubble, but you can't see the real danger. Hazardous particles like asbestos, mercury, arsenic, and lead hiding in the ash. So these are straw wattles. They come in 25-foot lengths. Wattles are a low-cost way of keeping contaminated runoff out of our drinking water. Think of them as an organic gutter. Ultimately, we've gone all the way up this street here. And we're going to start working our way up into the hills. This labor-intensive work... Cut a little hole in it, otherwise you're going to be hammering it, you know, just for, for a long time. ...is being done by more than 50 crew members from the California Conservation Corps. A lot of these Corps members have spent a lot of their summers and, and into the fall um, working in, in the fire camps, and we also have our, our Corps members that are out there on the fire crews. So Butte County really led the charge here to get state assets in here to perform this sort of protective, mitigative work. As Cole Glenwright, Cal OES Northern Branch Director, explains, Butte County, unfortunately, has a lot of recent experience with watershed protection. They learned a lot after the campfire, and they're putting that knowledge to work here in Berry Creek and other burn scar areas around the county. The specific spot within the North Complex was selected based on a coordinated effort with Butte County and our environmental team here at Cal OES to determine where we could, uh, as we always do, do the greatest good for the greatest many. What's going on here is happening or will happen at burn scars all over Northern California. Rain is on the way, a blessing for firefighters, but it's also another potential disaster following the state's worst fire season. For more information about debris flows and any of these wildfires, go to oesnews.com or wildfirerecovery.ca.gov and follow us on social media. I'm Sean Boyd for Cal OES News.